Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming NAB and hopefully some of the changes we are going to have inside of DaVinci Resolve 19, because I'm pretty sure that we are going to see version 19 at NAB. So here are a couple of the things I would love that Blackmagic would add into DaVinci Resolve 19. And these are in no particular order. So first off, one of the things I want to see in DaVinci Resolve is the ability to actually render in the background. So that meaning that you could render out your project and you could still continue working on some of the stuff in that project. For instance, if you're doing YouTube videos, you could continue to do the thumbnails and you could do that uh, meanwhile, you're rendering out the video or you could simply render out the video in the background and start to work on a new project. I think this is possible. Perhaps they could do something like that if they're using the proxy generator. So you could send your projects to that and that would do the rendering for you. I think that is possible. It should be possible. One of the other things I would love to see in DaVinci Resolve 19 would be automated captions or subtitles. So it will now be possible for you to make DaVinci Resolve do all of that typing for you. This would be super helpful if you're doing YouTube shorts and you want to have the text on or your subtitles on your video. Imagine the time you would save by not having to type every single word, but make DaVinci Resolve do it automatic. Also, I would love Blackmagic to enhance their AI uh, making the tools such as magic mask, uh, background removal even better and making them more clever and more smart and easier to use. Also, maybe they could make them work a bit faster so they won't take that long. Because sometimes, depending on the mask, of course, in magic mask, it will, can take quite a while to do all the tracking. Maybe we could do something about the clever tracking, something like that. I don't know. I also think it's about time that we actually have the ability to do masks on the edit page. I know you can do, if you're doing green screen on the edit page, you can do kind of a square or circular mask, but that's not always what you want. Sometimes you want to be able to do a custom mask going in and just quickly draw in the shape you want to use. And that would be very helpful if that was actually in the edit page. Also, if you want to mask two pictures or two clips together, you could do that pretty fast in the edit page without either going to Fusion or into the color page to do the same thing. That would be a time saver for me and it would also be quite nice if they would add that in. I also think it would be kind of nice to see some of the cut page features in the edit page. For instance, things like the selection of timeline resolutions, which are so easy to do inside of the cut page, but a little more difficult inside of the edit page. And also things like source tape, I would love to see that in the edit page as well. I think that could be kind of helpful. Overall, I just want to see more of the features from the cut page into the edit page and more of the edit page features into the cut page, because I think that is kind of needed when you are using the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve. So overall, also, by the way, if they would finish up the rest of the pages for the iPad version, that would just be great. I know you can do a trick and can kind of get access to all of the pages, but they are not, in my opinion, all fully functional yet, but I'm sure that is coming as well. One thing, and I've been saying this for years, one thing, and it's a very, very small little thing, but it would actually save me quite some time in the color page. Please, Blackmagic, if you're seeing this, which you most likely are not, but anyway, I'll share it. Please make the alpha output permanent on the color page. So I don't have to add it in every time I want to do some kind of an overlay with the alpha channel. Just let it be there as the blue dot and I can just connect it if I need it. And I don't need to do all the right clicking to add one in. It's a small little thing, but it would save me a bunch of time. 
So this was just some of the things I would love to see in the new version of DaVinci Resolve. What kind of things do you want to see in a new edition of DaVinci Resolve? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.